Hey Homestead Horsemanship viewers, it's JR here, up here on top of my ridge field overlooking our valley. Thank you for the recent growth, but a lot of that recent growth is due to the sale barn video where we um, featured a Clydesdale that I kind of fell in love with. Well, two of the videos we made about that, of the short and the long format sale video, went to 100,000 views and almost 400,000 views. All of you have been requesting that we do a follow-up on that. So I have some good news for us today. I have called around multiple people and contacts to find that horse, and I've found him. Um, so that's the good news. I'm going to be able to give you an update on him. He's, you know, alive and well. Uh, the bad news is he is at another sale barn, and he is in the sale barn pen down in southern Texas closer to Mexico. So that's not real good news. From what they've told me, he has lost more weight. So I've got a lot of criticism in the comments that I should have done whatever it takes to have brought him home. Well, I did all I could. I had about a $3,000 budget and I went above that um, for what I had to spend on my next project horse. Then they ended up no sailing him anyway and wanted even more than what I was able to bid at the time called that you know that is what it is and I, I let it go and I ended up buying um, a new project horse so the reason I had bid on him as a quote-unquote project horse and what I mean by that is for the next year to two years I don't have any young horses of my own that I need to train I finished with April she's hundred percent trained uh, so I needed something to ride I had the time and the money to be able to work with a young horse so that's what I was looking for at the auction and I fell in love with him uh, for the rest of this video, I'm going to refer to him as Oliver. It just came to me last the other night thinking about him. He was at that sale barn. Now he's sitting at a sale barn in Texas. And I think of the uh, the story Oliver Twist, you know, where the little orphan went from orphanage to orphanage and he wanted more to eat because that's all uh, that this Oliver needs is some groceries and love and care. I want to get him. Um, so I'm going to give you guys the opportunity to... Uh, for the viewers just to own him or to buy him so I put a donate but button at the in the description and I need to earn about six thousand dollars to be able to afford to go buy him and go down to southern Texas next weekend and and get him I've never done anything like this before and I don't ever want to do anything like this again because I'm not a rescue I'm just basically responding to the hundreds and hundreds of comments saying that I have to do whatever it takes to get this horse and that you guys want to follow up so at the very least, we can show pictures of him now, tell you we know where he is. He's waiting to be sold to hopefully a better home than what he has now. You know, he is further further south, which I don't like, you know, because of Mexico and the reputation that they have for slaughterhouses on these big draft horses. But I, I think he's too good of a quality, even though he's drastically underweight to go to a slaughter, honestly. If we can make that money, I'll provide all the care, because I have a monthly budget too, um, of money that I spend on, you know, training horses and maintaining horses and vet care and feed. I, I can afford that, but I don't have dispendable income to buy him right now. If I don't earn the $6,000 and people have donated anyway, I don't want your money. We will find and do a video where I have heard of some horse therapy groups up by St. Louis that work with autistic children and do riding lessons. And um, I'll find the best non-for-profit one of those we can find and we will donate the money do a video on that follow-up if we do get the horse like i said before i'll provide a home for him and care for him veterinary care dental care and do a series on training him make him a good family horse and you know whenever whenever he's fully grown and healthy and an adult i'll either keep him for his life if i want to or if i want to find him a home We'll find him a forever home. I won't sell him at a sale. And at that time, I will take the money that I use to purchase him, whatever his purchase amount is agreed upon by the time I get him, and I'll find a charity that deals with autistic children um, and riding lessons, a horse-based charity, a non-profit, and donate the money at that time. Okay, so Oliver was a 19-month-old Clydesdale stallion, for those of you that didn't watch the original video yet. And at the sale barn, he was underweight to the point that his hip bones were sticking out. You could see rib bones, his flanks were empty, and he was pretty lethargic from his malnutrition. 
Um, he wasn't to the point that it was like illegal. He wasn't that neglected. Um, there was nothing I could have done like turning him in, turning the owners in because he wasn't to the point that they would have counted it as criminal neglect. But it was enough that I kind of, it kind of made, pulled at my heartstrings and I kind of fell in love with him. Plus, like I said in the video, I've always just loved the idea of owning a Clydesdale because the ties in our popular culture to the Budweiser Clydesdales and the nostalgia of owning one and just how big and powerful they are. So I checked him out very close at the sale barn and he seemed like a really nice horse. I mean, his personality was great. He was soft. He was moving where I asked him to. He let me pick his feet up. I checked his teeth. I spent a lot of time with him and he was very sweet. Uh, I was just so disappointed because everything was selling fairly cheap that day you know between a thousand and two thousand dollars several of the draft horses that came with him sold for under a thousand when i had to bid for him in the mid threes the owners no sailed him stating at that time that they wanted at least five thousand for him so now assuming that it's gone from one sale barn to the other that's what i can count on paying at least for him um at this time and it is about an 11 hour drive from here so it'll be an overnight trip so that's why i said i've got a goal for this uh fundraiser for about six thousand dollars and uh he'll just basically be a homestead horseman sponsored horse and we he will live here i'm not saying i'll keep him forever but i will make the promise that when i sell him we'll look for a forever home for him if i do decide to sell him so my main plans for oliver when he gets home the first step obviously will be veterinarian uh, inspection. He looks like he needs to go to a vet to me. Second step, I'll have my horseshoe and buddy come and trim his feet. His feet look like they need professional attention and a little bit above my pay grade for the shape they're in. Third step will be wormers and medication prescribed by the vet. I'm sure he needs worm, but I want to get a fecal sample pulled first. Fourth step, I'll have the dentist come out. Fifth step, and maybe somewhere in mix intermixed he is too poor and too large and needs too much growing to go off of just my own hay so i'm going to buy him some high-end hay i know where i can get some of those big two-ton alfalfa bales and we'll start supplementing his feed and growing him out and getting him healthy once he starts gaining as he starts gaining i'll start exercising him i'll do that by poning him off of april uh, putting maybe a weight of a saddle on him and making him trot and lunge um, and just general exercise. Within about two months, I think he will be gaining and flourishing enough to where I can start his training. And I'll start groundwork, um, just general, you know, manners, ground manners. Um, and then I'll start with driving reins. And for this first, the two-year-old year, which will be this summer, I will hopefully get him to where I have him trained to drive in a harness and work by the fall up to a wagon and pulling like maybe a tire around first. Um, then in the winter and his three year old year, I'll train him to ride and make him a good riding and driving dual purpose horse. Um, somewhere in that time, depending on his attitude and behavior, I may get him gelded. Um, I don't have anything against stallions. I do well with stallions. I find that I get along with their personalities better than I do with uh, geldings. But, um, you know, that's to be determined at a later time. So that's the plan for Oliver. Uh, sorry I didn't let y'all help pick the name, but I've been dreaming about this horse for a couple weeks, and in all the dreams, his name is Oliver. So I think that's already decided. I'm very conflicted on whether to do this, so I don't want to see a whole bunch of hate comments in the, in the stream. Um, this is basically me responding to all of your guys' comments already, wanting me to follow up on this. I'm doing what I can, and I'm willing to do more. So let me know uh, what you think, and if you want to help, you can get a hold of us and message us. So if you would like to help us give Oliver a home and bring him to Homestead Horsemanship, you can find a donate button in the description of this video and also in the channel's About section. And you can also find our contact information there if you have any questions. If we're able to bring Oliver home, we plan to document the whole process and share it here on Homestead Horsemanship with you. We don't have uh, very long to raise the money for Oliver. We have until March 3rd, and we have to give a yes or a no on him. So it's not much time, but we're going to see what happens, and we'll let you know. Thank you for all of your help. We appreciate every one of you. Yeah.